Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to discuss switch statement in Java. So let's begin. So a switch statement is an alternative of if, else if, else if, else statement. What it does, it allows us to execute block of code among many alternatives. If we have many condition and among them only one condition to be executed, then we can go for switch statement. So switch works only on four primitive data type and their wrapper classes, as well as it works with enumeration and string classes. So string class has been added from JDK 7 and enumeration has been added from JDK 5. So if you are using any version before 7, then string data type is not going to work. Here are the list of data type which you can use for switch statement. So byte data type or you can use wrapper class byte, short data type or wrapper class short, int or integer, char character and then enum and string. You can work with this primitive data types. Now here is the syntax of switch statement. Uh, so switch is a keyword in that you have to follow your expression. The expression can be a variable or it can be a value or it can be any expression which evaluates and gives you some value. So what will happen? It will go to the case and it will try to match the expression. So if the pass expression is matching with expression 1, then this block of code will be executed. If the pass expression is matching with expression 2, then this code will be executed. And if it is matching with 3, 4 and so on, then appropriate code will be executed. You can write a number of cases as many you require. And lastly, you can put default. If none of the case is matching, then the default statement will be executed. So this is what syntax of switch statement. You can compare the cases with your if conditions. So you pass condition 1, condition 2, condition 3. If none of the conditions are matching, then it executes what else part that is a default in switch statement. Switch expression is generally used for evaluating equality. So if you are passing some value, it checks for equality with this expression. Now let's go for flowchart of switch statement. So here is my expression. It will go in a case and it will try to match the case. So if the case is matching, it will execute the statement related with that case. If case 2 is matching, it will execute statement related with case 2. If case 3 is matching, it will execute statement related to case 3 and so on. So you can have n number of cases and finally there is a case default. If the none of the cases has been matched, then it is going to execute default statement and any statement after switch statement will be executed. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to open IntelliJ and I'm going to show you how to use this switch statement in your practical or demonstration. So let's go for IntelliJ. I have started IntelliJ and I have created one project in that. Now, what is my aim? I am going to take operator from user and number from user and depending on the operators like plus, minus, division or multiplication, I am going to perform operation. So, if user is entering plus, it is going to show me what addition of number. If user is going to enter a star or division or modulo, you can take any operator, then appropriate activity should be performed and output should be printed. So this I am going to do using switch case statement. So first of all, what I would like to do, I would like to accept two number from user for performing my operation and the operator also I am going to accept from user. So let me do that. Okay, so what I have done, I have accepted input from user first number and second number and I am storing that in a variable i and j. Now what I am going to do, I am going to ask user operators. So enter operator and in bracket I am specifying that 
you can enter these operators now i'll read the operator and i will store in a string variable op now then uh, i'm going to write switch statement and then in bracket i'm writing op why i'm writing op because i want to compare with operator variables therefore i'm writing op then my next statement is going to be a case and then what will be my case plus so if it is plus then what i should do i should perform addition operation so for that i am going to create one more variable of type double for storing result so then result is equal to i plus j and then i am going to print output that is so addition of i that is actual value of i and j is my result variable now then i am going to write break because it should come out of this case so a uh, same code i am going to write for uh, minus star and division so i am just copying and pasting this lines so just let me change this operator here it will come minus minus and then subtraction okay so similarly let me complete uh, division and multiplication so now i have completed all the cases so if user is entering plus operator my plus operation will get executed if user enters minus star or multiplication then appropriate statement will be executed now suppose user has not enter plus minus star and division then what i'm going to do i'm going to print a default message that is no such operators okay so this completes the program depending on the operator i am going to get result so now i'll run this program to see what output we are getting okay so it is asking me number so i am entering number for example 12.4 it is asking me another number i am entering some number 17.9 now it is asking me operator so let me enter operator plus so it is showing me addition of 12.4 and 17.9 is 30.2 299 and so on okay so similarly you can rerun this program to see other operators output also so 12 6 and then operator i am entering as star so i am getting multiplication so whatever operator you are entering it is going to match the operator with appropriate case if it is matching it is executing that line and then it comes out of the switch statement and now suppose if i enter anything other than plus minus star then what output i should get so i am entering for example modulus sign so i am getting output as no such operators because none of the case has been match so that was example of switch statement in java now let me explain why i am writing break statement if i don't write this break statement then what will happen if my case has been match over here then all the statement after this matching will be executed so let me comment this break and show you what will happen if i don't write break statement okay so now it is asking me number 1 and second number and then i am entering operator as plus so can you see what output i am getting i am getting addition subtraction multiplication division and no such operator why it is happening because my case has been match over here so this statement will be executed followed by all the statement which are there in my cases therefore we write break statement so that if one of the case is match it should come out of this switch statement okay otherwise if you don't write break then if any of the case matches followed by all other cases will be executed now suppose if i enter a star as my operator then what will happen i'll get output as what a multiplication division and the default case so now you can see it has shown me multiplication division and default case because there was no break statement so here the condition met and this statement executed followed by all other statement will be executed so therefore always write break statement in your cases so that after matching the condition it should come out of switch statement so break and continue statement i am going to take in my upcoming videos 
for time being let me tell you what is this break statement this break statement is going to take you out of this switch statement when the condition matches and statement execution finishes okay so that's all for switch statement i hope you like the example so whenever you want to check for equality you can go for switch statement or you can use what if else if also so thank you friends for watching my video till end if you have not subscribed to my channel or if you are new to my channel please do subscribe it now and don't forget to press bell icon and if you have any comments friends do put in comment box i am going to surely reply to your comments and if you like my videos please please share my videos to your friends so that they can also get benefited of this thank you friends for watching my video till end see you in my next video till that bye bye and take care